Hey, what's up guys? Papa Stanimus here. Do you guys want to know how to do a dope ass denked out effect like this for yourselves on OBS? Well, let me walk you through it. It's very simple. First things first. You need to create uh, a new scene. Okay, so create a new scene and we're going to rename this scene. We're going to name it Effect. Dank mode, all right? Dank mode. There we go. That's what we're going to call it, okay? Effect. Dank mode. Now, in this scene, we're going to add a video capture device. We're going to add a camera, okay? I'm going to name it My Face Cam, okay? So, that's not the one we want. We want this camera. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Oh, custom. Resolution, 1920 by 1080. Uh, video format, MPEG. Bam! Done and done. Added a video capture device. Now we need to chroma key this video capture device. I hope you have good lighting. We need to chroma key this guy. Let's go ahead and do that. Properties, or uh, excuse me, filters. All right, we're gonna add a chroma key filter. Bam. Now, uh, disable it, first thing. Just Disable it and go right back to green screen, okay? Then click custom, then click set co select color, pick screen color, click the screen, bam, you've got your green. There we go. Now re-enable it, drop your smoothness all the way down, drop your similarity down and get it kind of where you want it. And uh, there you go, you know, configure your green screen, get that going. That's all we're gonna do. I'm not gonna do any other crazy camera effects. All right, so we have that. We have our uh, camera in here, okay? now. To get the effect, we have to do something a little bit different that people don't really know of. Not everyone, and everyone should. This is cool. I call it uh, sceneception, okay? But before before we do sceneception, we need to add a filter to our, our dank mode scene, okay? So you right-click your scene, hit filters, and you're going to add a color correction, okay? And what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to find the brightness, and you're going to turn it all the way down. Look at that. Hey, it's starting to come together, right? We're not quite done though. There's more, uh, there's one big trick that we have to do to pull off the rest of this. And that is, uh, we need to create a new scene. Okay, and we're gonna name this scene uh, Dank Stand Mode. Feel free to call it Dank Stand Mode in honor of this tutorial, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, dank Stand Mode, let's get rid of that S, I don't like it. There we go, bam. All right, so in Dank Stand Mode, we're gonna add a new source. And this source is going to be a scene. We're gonna click scene. See that scene? Click scene, and you're gonna add your effect dank mode. And you're not gonna see anything because you don't have a background. So now we're gonna add like an image or something just as a placeholder. I'm just gonna find an image from my recent downloads. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. Hey, this looks cool. I had some viewers coming to my house. Let's do, see this one, right? Let's get this sized right. Let's see. I had some viewers come over to my house. That was pretty crazy. It was fun though. It was actually kind of fun. There we go. Hey, that was a fun day. All right. So now let's drop that image down below, and bam, there's our effect. Look at that. It's working. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Oof. I'm danked out, man. I'm danked out. Now, to recap, just to recap real quick, okay, what you do is you create a new scene called Effect. I put the effect in the title, so I always know in my scenes that that's an effect, and I have, like, fucking ten of them, all right? So... I have, think of 10 scenes that have effect on it. I know to never click on these. You don't use your effect scenes, okay? These are just for doing sceneception. So when you add a scene within a scene, just call them effect. So you know that those are special scenes that are used inside of a scene. They're useless on their own. So uh, on your effect scene, you add your face cam, okay? And then you add the filter to the scene and drop the brightness, okay? You add a color correction filter to your scene, not the source. Usually everyone's adding it to the source. You wanna add it to the scene, okay? Drop the brightness all the way down. You get that blacked out effect. Add a new scene, okay? Drop a picture down in the background and then add your source, or add a new source with your scene within a scene, okay? Your uh, effect dank mode, just like that. Simple, very easy to do. Uh, it's a really cool way to just give some people a little bit of respect, you know, when it comes to the smoking things department, all right, of vaping or whatever. Or you could just 
do it for whatever stylish reasons that you want to do, you know? I mean, there's a lot of reasons you might want to do this. I don't know. Who knows what you might want? There's the possibilities are absolutely endless.